Hey guys, I had a question today about the voice in the iX14. So I got to playing with it a while ago and maybe I can show you a little something about it. So let's pull down, go into Task Manager. And um, go to Home and run Settings. And let's look for speech. Okay, not that one. Not that one. Or that one. So maybe it was voice. Okay. All right, we don't want that one. We don't want that one. Um, could be that one. And it could be that one. Let's look at uh, language. Okay. All right. Here it has the preferred speech engine, Google Text to Speech. And you can set the language here to various languages. And it's set to English United States. You can change the speed that it talks at with that one or the pitch here, but they don't really, it doesn't really sound good when you change the pitch. And the rate to speed it up just a little bit maybe helps some. Let's see if it'll play through the uh, video recorder. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. So you might have picked that up. So you've got this button. Well, let's click on this right here first. So it's showing the Google text-to-speech engine. Remember that. And then you got this settings button. And you've got this setting, which I'm not sure what it does. And amplify speech volume, make it louder. And then you got the intonation. And um, number processing, I haven't tried that one. And then language detection, you've got these settings. And the reports. Okay, so let's go to install voice data. All right, now here... You can pick English, Australia, India, United Kingdom, United States. And when you go here, I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit. I don't know whether it's going to come through my the system, the computer, or it's or my microphone is going to pick it up from my from my speaker. So we'll see. Let's turn this up. And then we'll try voice one. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. Don't really care for that one. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. Not really that one. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. I think that's the one that it originally had. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. Don't really care for that one too much. This 
This is an example of speech synthesis in English. Kind of bassy. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. Really bassy. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. Not too bad, but I think number three is the best. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. Maybe. Okay, so it's using Google TTS voice data. All right, so let's try something. Let's go back to the uh, desktop and go, go, go to Google Play Store. And let's search for speech. And you've got speech recognition and synthesis, Google. It says it's installed, but let's click the down arrow and read more. Well, I don't think that's what it showed earlier. Ah, you saw what I clicked on there. I clicked on the name of it. And we see there's an update to it. And yes, I did. Well, it says March 19th. This is the 24th. So anyway, um, so there's an update to this. So let's update it. Now it's installing it. Okay. See, now it says uninstall. It doesn't say update. Uh, of course, you might have noticed that the Wi-Fi is turned on. You'll need that to download stuff. I guess I could have told you that originally. All right, so let's go to the task manager and slide that off the screen. And let's open this again. And I don't know if we're going to have to get out of this. In other words, we may have to restart the transmitter to um, have it switch. Ah, that is different than what it said before. Okay, so if we look here, yeah, we still got this stuff. Let's click on preferred engine. So we just have this one option. But it seems to have a different name from what I remember. And uh, let's play it and see what it sounds like. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. Yeah, that's pretty quick. All right, I'm going to reset it, and let's see if the speech rate changes. Yep. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. Okay, so let's go back up here and click on the settings icon. And I believe the options are different here. There was one here about using Wi-Fi to download the voice. 
data. Um, that's gone. Language detection. I think that's the same. Not sure. I think there's a couple of options here that are different. So let's go to the voice data. And let's go down to English. United States. And try voice one. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. And two. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. That is that's a male voice right there. I don't think we had one before. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. That's definitely a male. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. That doesn't sound very good. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. Yeah, it's kind of bassy. I don't really like that one. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. Okay, so this is an example of speech synthesis in English. To me, that's the best male voice. So now, um, let's get out of this. Let's just go ahead and go to the task manager, slide that off the screen. All right, now let's see if the voices have changed for airware. Well, Let's go up here. We may have to restart the transmitter. It may not switch the voice engine without restarting it. So it just kind of clicks. So that didn't do it. All right, so let me restart the transmitter and come back. Okay, we're back after a reboot. And let's see what happens. Gear up. Gear down. High rates. Safe mode. Low rates. Well. Motor on. Throttle cut. We have a male voice now. So, it works. So, there you go. Updating the app gave it new voices. So, see, it's still set to the one it switched to before I restarted, but the voice didn't start working until I shut down the transmitter and started it back up. So, anyway, uh, let's see, United States. We're still on voice five. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. So. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. I like that one the best. Now, if you were to go to United Kingdom, See, now it wants you to download the voice data, the uh, 
English United States was already downloaded. I guess it downloads by default. So if you want another country, um, you have to uh, let it download it. So anyway, let's get out of this mess. And so there you go. Maybe that'll help you out. Catch y'all later.